Hey folks, welcome to Low Country Wildlife. On today's show, we're headed down to Gator Bay Fox Pen. That's right, we're going field trialing. For all you dog hunters out there, it's going to be a great show and you're going to enjoy it. So come on, go with us. We're headed to Gator Bay Fox Pen to run some fox. LCW will be right back. Low Country Wildlife. With your host, Steve, the Legend Drummond. And Stacy Atkinson. LCW is brought to you by Marshall's Marine, 301 Processing and Taxidermy, Irby Street Sporting Goods, Marie Sportsman Preserve. Palmetto Pulpwood and Timber Company, Doc's Gun Exchange, Steger's Complete Landscaping. So hey folks, welcome back to today's show. So what we're doing is going to Gator Bay Fox Pen, our good buddy Dwight Allen's having a field trial. He's invited LCW to come over and film it. So real quick, what the rundown is this, we're in a hundred acre fenced in enclosure and there's fox in there. You've seen me trap fox and coyotes. Well, this pen is 100% fox. There's no coyotes in it. It's gray fox and red fox. And the field trial we're having today has got 30 dogs, 40 dogs, I'm sorry, 40 dogs, and every dog is under 11 months old. So these are puppies. I know they don't look like puppies, but these are puppies. And since we're going to cast the dogs this morning, turn them loose, they're going to run around and they're going to chase the game. And all the dogs have numbers on this. It's dyed numbers, just like ladies dye their hair and uh, they, they die beside the dog with numbers on them. When the dogs cross the road after the fox, what they do is, is there's judges. And you'll see them and I'll be talking with them and they score them. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, whatever they come across. And at the end of the day, all those points are tallied up and the winning dogs won with the most points. It's pretty simple. It's a great time. I cannot stress enough that these animals, these fox, are not hurt. Not one fox will be hurt in today's field trial. There's boxes for these fox to get in if they get where the dogs are getting too close for them and they are in their house. They know where they're at so they can stay in front of these dogs without getting hurt. So we're going to go straight to the woods and turn these dogs out and uh, get into the action. So come on, let's go to the woods right now and chase around some fox. <laughs> There he is. You see? Coming from both directions, huh? Yep. I don't know which way to turn the camera. <laughs> right now he wasn't but ten yards from us. That's right.
time of that fox that crossed right here at us. Now, the dog, the, some dogs came from the other direction. You don't grade them, do you? Not if they're in the road, no. Just grade the ones on the trail. And they, those last two dogs, they were actually on the fox. The other two just ran across it. That's right. That's right. That's right. And the way you got we got it set up is that telephone pole is your side. This side the, the other, telephone pole. The other side's his. Is, okay, and he would judge the dogs on that side. That's right. But he slipped right up on us, didn't he?
<laughs> he can't go. He slipped back. <laughs> Now, Dwight, what's on? What's your fences for in the road? Like that one right there. They're just to keep the puppies from running up and down the road. And in case a piece of game crosses the road, they'll be right on top of it. It's just to give the game a break so that, you know, they don't be dogs in the road when they're trying to cross the road. And you got them uh, set up all over the pen like that, right? Yeah, just, we, got, just to... we got them set up here. We got down these two roads right here. Uh, it's, just, it's just a matter of puppies like to run up and down the road and a piece of game crosses right in front of them, they're right on top of it. Yep. We just teach them to stay in the, in the woods. In the woods. What Protect about? your game. Go back down the house. Where well, I just came from. Yeah. Hey folks, so we take a quick break from the action and uh, we're having a real good running. But uh, we talked earlier about the fox not getting harmed. That's that's the name of the game here. Nobody wants these animals to get hurt. That, these animals are put in here in their condition to be chased by dogs and the dogs running by. But one of, one of the things they do to save the fox is a box like I'm standing next to. And it's a safe box and they're all over this pen. And what it is, is the inside is just like a dog house you would have at your house. But that tube is not big enough for a grown dog to get in. So the fox, if they're putting some pressure on him, he's, he feel like he's getting a little nervous, like they're getting too close, he'll run in here and he'll go in that, that hole right there. And he'll stay in there like a dog box until the hunt's over. He ain't got to come out and the dog cannot get in there. But there's so much game in this pen, there's so many foxes in this pen that the dog's not going to stand here and mess with him. He's going to go find something else. So as soon as the fox goes in this box, he's perfectly safe. He'll stay in there the rest of the hunt. He's not hurt a bit. And when the dogs are gone out of here this afternoon, he'll come back out and go on about his business. These are just safe houses. They're all over the pen. And uh, that's what they're there for. So if you see us filming and you see one of these in the background, that's what it is. Just a safe house box for these foxes to get in. So uh, that's kind of what's going on. So that's enough of me talking. Let's get back to some fox hunting action. They don't ever come across where I want them to.
missed opportunity. Folks, we're going to take a quick commercial break. When we come back, we've got some more hunting action here at Gator Bay Fox Pen LCW. Alright, folks, so the hunt's about over with. Dwight just brought the trailer back up here. Well, he, he commissioned some young men to bring it back up here. But what's going to happen is now the dogs are still running a little bit, but Dwight has a filmed, or not a filmed, an audio tape of dogs running, and he has a loudspeaker. And here in just a few minutes when this hunt's over, he's going to turn that on right here. And all them dogs is kind of broke down looking for something to do. They're going to start piling out here, and the, and the guys will catch their dogs up. So it's just a quick way to get the dogs back up. It's pretty neat. We're going we're gonna to watch it. Yeah, that dog took off. <laughs> and that's just an audio tape playing to imitate, audio tape playing to imitate dogs running. So these dogs want to come to the hunt. to get them off in it. <laughs> you reckon they get up here they go like somebody's lying. <laughs> There's some lying going on around here. No dogs up here running. Now they run hard today. I imagine they're ready to get in the box. About time for some chicken ball. About time for chicken ball. I'm hungry too. So folks if you want to come film with just two requirements. Breakfast and lunch. <laughs> That's the requirement. Supper's an option. Now, I got Jay Greg on the camera today. All I had to do was say breakfast and lunch. He was in before I even got the door locked. He slid in like Bo Duke coming through the window. <laughs> this morning, ready to go. Appreciate all of you coming today to the hunt. It was great running, good time, good fun and fellowship. I want to thank all my judges today. Uh, you can't do this without good help, and good friends, and good family. At the end of the hunt, I want all my judges to come over here before we finish up. But uh, the hunt today was as good as last month. Good running. The, the whole four hours, I felt like you know, they, didn't, they didn't hardly ever uh, miss a beat. Good training exercise for these puppies. Now, I got your dog feed, which most of you tell me you'd rather have dog feed than you know, trophies or anything else here. Anyway, so I just got you a bunch of dog feed today. When I call you a dog's uh, number and your name, come get your dog feed. I thank my family. I couldn't do this without you. I enjoy doing it. It's, it's, it's a fun time and the fun and fellowship is what we're all about. Y'all come on up and get your, start on this end, get your dog feed. And before I, one last thing, this right here is dog feed from Pride and Showtime. They, they sponsor not only my hunts, but about every hunt in this state and probably outside the state. You can't ask for a better sponsor, in my opinion, than Pride and Showtime. I want to make sure we all recognize them today. Fifth place dog today had 395 points. Dog number 18, Lucas Holt. How many you get? Fourth place dog today had 415 points. Dog number two, Jeff Huggins. Dog had 430 points. Dog number four, Ted Williams. Got two dogs left. When, when y'all get, when I get through with this, please bring me the top uh, ten dogs up here. I want to get pictures of the top ten for the Gator Bay Fox Pen Facebook page. Bring me the top 10 dogs up here, this little dead bitch, okay? 
Second place dog of the day had 445 points. Dog number 22, Nitty Gritty, gritty Kennels. All right, first place dog of the day had 480 points. Anybody want to guess? 35. Dog number 16, Jonathan Todd. I want you to make sure you get an interview with this gentleman right here. Talk to him since he's the first place owner, winner, get, get him on tape and get him on film. Make a movie star right out of him. <laughs> Not everybody likes that, Dwight. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> Appreciate all of you coming and I hope to the top 10 dogs. And please all my judges come out here for a minute. All my judges come over here please. One last thing I wanted to do, I wanted to thank all my judges and I want to thank all my family. These people are my good friends and my family and without them this would not be possible. They come in here and spend their morning and, and help us do this to uh, measure these puppies and grade these puppies and score these puppies and put this stuff in a computer which my wife does and I couldn't do it without them and I just wanted to get that on film here at the last. I want to thank them for their help. Well, folks, that's going to wrap us up today here at LCW. We'd like to thank Dwight Allen and everybody here at Gator Bay Pen for allowing LCW to be part of their day and enjoy the running and the fellowship. Congratulations to all the winners. A lot of good-looking dogs out there today. We really had a lot of fun chasing them around. Thank you, Jay Gregg, for running the camera today, uh, helping a brother out, and uh, we just had a good time all the way around. So y'all check us out online this week at Facebook at Team Low Country Wildlife, and uh, you can guarantee we'll be back on the water in the bushes next week doing it LCW style.